Okay, welcome back. This is variation two of Katate Dori Sankyo. Um, <clears throat> this is more of an ura. I don't really, I'm not a big fan of the emolte. Um, and the reason being is because if somebody's grabbing your wrist, <laughs> full frontal, I said full frontal. This isn't gonna work because this is following up usually with a punch. Okay, somebody goes to grab, this is usually a punch is gonna follow. That changes the whole dynamic of the technique. So I pretty much do a lot of my, my katate dori techniques to where they're ura versions. Um, I do do a multi versions off of katate dori, but they're not sankyo, nikyo type technique. You know what I'm saying? It's more of throwing techniques. Stuff that starts off dynamic and ends very explosive and it's extremely fast with application. So, katate dori, sankyo, ura. Hai. So, as he attacks, you're gonna cut, grab the wrist. Notice how his hands, say, I'm in a position here where I have sankyo, or excuse me, uh, nikyo. This is very typical for nikyo. See how I have this right here? Here's your nikyo application. Nikyo, 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 nikyo. Hongaku, but instead of going to that, I go right for the Sankyo application because it just presents itself so nicely. And it also tricks the Uke thinking that this is typical for Nikyo. <laughs> Meet Sankyo. So they usually don't see that coming. So cut right away, Sankyo. Mm. Right away. You okay? okay? So from the other side of this, you have to cut the hand. So as he comes and grabs, you can't cut him here because you're cutting on top of the hand. So this Gaidan low Suriage sword cut. This is never going to work. You have to get them before they grab you. Slow. Tai Chi slow. So this has to move and blend. Very similar to grab. Tenkan, you can't be grabbed here with Tenkan with that forward progression, that forward intent to be able to do Tenkan unless you're really good at this. Then you can do it. And I happen to be really good at it, so I can do it. But for most of you that can't, this Tenkan application, you have to, one more time, you have to blend and start moving. It's the same thing with Gaidan Suriage off of Katakagori. You have to move. So as this happens, slow. You're moving and then capturing. Okay? Slower. See how slow that was? Transition. So again, transition. One more time. So once you come through, transition. You gotta be careful he doesn't punch you. So this has to start applying small joint right there. As that applies, notice the thumb is just sticking out saying, grab me. So instead of Nikyo, you grab the thumb and you Tenkan right into that and then you apply. And then you have it. Very easy. Okay? One more time. So as he grabs, move, turn, sunk you. Then you step on his hand, obviously. Now, if you get that uke that tries to stand up, you just put your knee over his head. So when he stands up, he's going to knee himself. Or he's gonna knee, you're, he's gonna hit your knee with his head. So when he stands up, boom. Just give him a little check right there. Because he doesn't have eyes in the back of his head. And if you position your knee in the right spot, he gets up. It's kind of like when you go under a table and you're going to grab something, you you hit your head, you're thinking that you're clear. He thinks he's clear, he gets hit. His head bounces right off my knee. So again, move through, grab, sunk you right away. See how fast you cripple him? It's a beautiful technique. 
tell he's moving around. It's like uncontrollable, like seizure. This stuff is good shit, man. You can't find this anywhere. All right, one more. Through. Last one. Cut. Move. Off to the side. You have a lot of stuff here. One thing I haven't touched on, focus down here. Step on his foot so he can't escape. Most suitcases like to play that fucking game where they like to step away and then technique, you know, they change. They move, oh, look, your Aikido technique didn't work. Really? It didn't work, huh? How about now? Does it work now? How about now? Does it work now? Yeah, try to go down now. So you can use that in your home dojo with that really nice uke that likes to be that fucking jag off in class that doesn't allow you to practice technique. Step on his foot. I should have probably should have added that in in earlier videos, but I like to keep you guys on edge. And surprise you every once in a while with something like that. Height one more time. So the application, cut, move. You can step right on his foot right from the get-go, or you ten con, and as he comes back into you, you apply the song cue. Okay? Last one, switch. So as he grabs, move. Right away. Get in this position. Don't be like this. Get in the position to where, remember, your foot has that ballerina foot thing going on, to where you can move from here. Okay, then immediately grab the thumb. If you have to, you can grab the fingers again and turn him down and raise him back up. Now what you gotta watch is make sure that he can't kick you. So if this is loose, he kicks, so you raise this up, okay? Then you can go back to that. So if you want to play up, down, karate kid, right? Up, down. You can play the game all day long, okay? Here's a different pin variation if you want. Last one. So that's Katate Dori, Sankyo Ura, my version. See you in the next video.